Hello Gemini, welcome to your September audio podcast, brought to you by me Kathleen Robinson of Karma Queens, East Yorkshire Tarot and Five Tarot. And if you'd like to have a tarot card reading with me, then email me at karmaqueens at gmail.com and I offer telephone or Zoom readings. So Gemini, you've been brought the Eight of Swords reversed for this September And it's asking you to allow yourself to let go of old patterns of behaviour and belief systems that have previously held you back. Also, at this time, you may be putting some sort of self-imposed barrier in front of you just to slow things down. And by realising that it is you who can take the barriers down, this will help you move forward. You're ready or almost ready to move beyond those fears. So keep moving, seek support if you need. But above all, trust yourself. So, although we cannot plan or be utterly prepared for everything in life that might happen, and that accepting that fact is an important part of our adulthood, know that when we need help, help is always available. So take one step at a time. Worry solves and changes nothing for you. In terms of work, if you'd like to make a change in your work, This card lets you know that that is indeed possible, but that patience and deliberate steps forward are going to be needed. Be open and aware of chance meetings which could help you in your career or for any hoped for changes. Everyone may not understand or support your wishes to make a change and know that you must do what is best for you. And when it comes to love, The Eight of Swords reverse points to potential disagreements and petty arguments in an existing relationship. So try to get to the root of any problems. Arguments are not always about what they seem to be about on the surface. And if you're feeling lonely and looking for love, this card is a hint that you have some work to do on yourself first. Another person cannot fill you up if you're feeling empty. And feeling empty drives prospective partners away. Financially, this card tells you that unexpected things may occur with your finances. And it's an important time to make sure that you have some sort of financial safety net around you. And at the same time, these unexpected things can be related to financial increase that you weren't expecting. However, it's not a time when you are likely to be lucky with any form of gambling. So that's all from me, Kathleen Robinson. Until the next time, take care.